So with example two, I've eliminated the vertical lines, but now if we look at that graph, we actually have two regions, one on the left above the straight line, one on the right below. So we're actually going to have to do two integrations here. This is like two questions in one. What changes is between region one and two, one function is on top in region one, the other function is on top in region two. So sadly, there is no way of shortcutting this. There is no way of, of making it any easier. We're just going to have to basically go ahead and do this twice. So for region one, we're going to integrate that region begins at negative 1 on the x-axis and ends at 1. So we'll integrate from negative 1 to 1. The top function is our g of x, which is x cubed minus 4x squared, minus f of x, which is x minus 4 dx. We don't actually have any like terms to combine here, so we'll just distribute that negative sign in, integrate, and there is no like terms that we can combine here. No simplifying we can do. That's as simple as this integral is going to get. We will have to find f of 1, subtract f of negative 1. Go off to the right to find those. common denominator in this case between 4, 3, and 2 is going to be 12. It's going to give us 29 over 12 here. Do the same basic process, find f of negative 1. Again, common denominator of 12. Gives us negative 35 over 12. Go back to the left. We get 64 over 12. We can reduce that a little bit. 16 over 3. 16 over 3 units squared in region 1. We need to go do the same thing for region 2. So I'm just going to flip the page for Make sure I have enough space. Region 2 starts at 1 and ends at 4, so that's where we'll integrate from. Except now, f of x is on top. So we'll have x minus 4 minus x cubed minus 4x squared dx. Distribute the minus in. I prefer to write exponents highest to lowest. integrate. It's going to look very similar with the exception of the signs and our boundaries. To find this area we'll have to find f of 4 minus f of 1.
go ahead and calculate each of those. We'll need a common denominator of six of sort of three. Gives us forty over three. F of one. Now, I know we found f of 1 for region 1, but that was a different integral. We still actually do have to go and calculate it again. We'll need a common denominator of 12. negative 27 over 12, which we can reduce, and we might as well do so now, negative 9 over 4. Go back to the left, put in f of 4 and f of negative 1. Now that reducing didn't help us much, we're going to have to go, to, but go back to a common denominator of 12. And we come up with 187 over 12 units squared for region 2. To find the total area trapped by these curves, take those individual areas, add them together. We had 16 over 3 in region 1, 187 over 12 in region 2, common denominator of 12 again. Two hundred and fifty one over twelve units squared altogether.